During Uganda's hosting of the NAM and G77 summits in January 2024, Kampala Capital City Authority procured over 10,000 liter bins to enhance waste management in the city. Each bin cost the government 2.5 million shillings and has effectively discouraged littering. Of course, I already see them on streets, roads, yes. The presence of these beans is a blessing to those earning a living from collecting what might be considered useless. They are also being used as advertisement boards. Raymond, who collects plastic from these bins, gathers approximately 20 kilograms daily, earning a livelihood from this activity. His collection reflects the consumption rate of plastic packaged goods in the areas he collects plastics from. With his hard-earned money, he designed a cart to facilitate transporting his collection to selling points. Despite the initial benefits of these beans in maintaining cleanliness, several months after the NAM and G77 summits, some have fallen victim to vandalism. So we appeal to the, to the entire city, these lights or these interventions are your own. Let us protect our infrastructure. With the majority of litter bins in this state open and exposed, the rubbish meant to be in here ends up displaced. Displaced by humans, displaced by weather, for example, heavy rain, displaced by heavy winds, or perhaps as well displaced by passing animals. Where does it end? In the roads, in the air, and in the neighborhoods. That garbage will block the drainages. When it rains, the runoff will get onto the road. When it gets onto the road, it will erode the tarmac that we'll have put there and cause potholes in the road. Now, instead of cases here going ahead and repairing or constructing more roads, we end up coming back to do repairs. And we are the very people who suffer with the potholes. Some motorists habitually throw bottles at these bins while in transit. To reinforce waste management efforts, Kampala Capital City Authority, in collaboration with partners, has installed garbage skips alongside the existing litter bins. We are currently freely collecting from 200 and over 270 villages. But the city has over 800 villages. We may not be able to get to that place. That's why our predecessors in 2008 uh, passed the solid waste management ordinance in 2008. Now, it is under that that we have these concessioners working. <laughs>
abake sisi bo mulembogo bale tange mutoka za bwe nizibichi maburunji nizibitwarawa eri eri je ba je ba muyuwa muchitezi before we had a number of people everyone collecting garbage but that was unsustainable because you would not know where garbage has not pick, been picked or where it has been picked and uh, you'd find so many as they move they dump whatever they find but now we can regulate a single company in a zone or in a division where we know that garbage will move from here to stays Leaving beans without covers poses health risks and can lead to environmental contamination, especially in high garbage areas such as markets, vehicle parks and leisure centers. Tony Kent Chaze, Ivan Kahua.